we will call to order. And Amy, if you can call the roll, please. Here. 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 We can stand to salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, the notice requirements of the open public meeting law for this meeting have been satisfied. A copy of the notice having been sent to the Asbury Park Press and the Coaster and filed in the office of the township clerk on July 22, 2022. There is an emergency exit through the courtroom doors and two exits at the rear of the room. There will be no smoking, no new cases will be started after 10 o'clock p.m. and no new testimony taken after 10.30 p.m. In addition, the applicant will be limited to 45 minutes of testimony. All meetings will be video and audio taped and shown on the Township of Ocean's Community Cable Channel, Channel 22 on Verizon Fios, and Channel 77 on Cable Vision. All cell telephones must be turned off, or if you need to make a call, please make your call outside the room. We have two minutes for approval, May 5th and May 19th, 2022. Um, is there a motion to approve? We need to do those separately. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Okay, May 5th first. To approve those minutes from May 5th. John. John. Was that here? I'll move. Yeah. Okay. Is there a second? Sorry. I'll second. Okay, Amy, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Okay, I will move the May 19th minutes. Is there a second? I'll second. Amy, please call the roll. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> you were in here. I'll second. <laughs> no, I wasn't here. <laughs> Mr. Fuller? Yes. Mr. Ashton Yes. Ms. Yes. Yes. And we have resolutions for memorialization, 199 Highwood Road, LLC. Block 25.16, Lot 2, 199 Highwood Road, Oakhurst, Bulk Variance Approval. Amory Goldson, Block 25, Lot 133, 254 Highwood Road, Oakhurst, Bulk Variance Approval. Okay, so why don't you just move those two, because you need separate votes for the other two, right, Amy? The last one says Bulk Variance Approval also. The Vivian um, I or Vian? Yeah, okay. You. But uh, Goldson and, and Highwood can be moved together. But not Vian. Vianney. Or or brewery, because they're different votes. Oh, okay. They're amended resolutions. I'll go back. I'll say okay. it again. <coughs> record. Go ahead. Somebody needs to move I'll these move two. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay, Amy. Mr. Yes. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. The next one is the Cane Brewery, which was. Oh, okay. we Sorry. passed. We passed Cane Brewery last month. This is an amended resolution as to the site plan. Um, one of the conditions was lot consolidation, um, and uh, Ms. Krimko stated for the record they would agree to that, or if they couldn't, they they would uh, give us cross easements. I did not include in the resolution the choice, and it turns out they're going to have to use cross easements because the structures are owned by separate uh, entities and have different mortgages on them. Okay. which is acceptable, but I've just added that to the condition, the and or, and that's okay. what we're asking you to re-approve re that resolution as amended. Okay, will someone offer? I move to reapprove the resolution. Is there I'll, a second? I'll second. Amy? Yes. 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 Okay, Vincent Vienni, Block 115, Lot 6, 1900 North Wanamassa Drive, Ocean, and amended approval? Amended approval. Um, inadvertently, there's two lots and two blocks, and I s stressed one is 
I typed one or had one typed as lot five when it should have been 15. <laughs> okay. So, so we're just oh. adding the one to the resolution and amending it. Okay. Will someone offer? I'll offer. Is there a second? I'll second. Amy? Yes. 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 Following cases are carried to January 19th, 2023 to be held in person in the public meeting room, Municipal Building, Deal and Monmouth Roads, Oakhurst, Ashkenazi, Block 11.01, Lot 3, 1036 Norwood Avenue, Ocean, Sorora Land Development, Block 22, Lot 85 and 85.01, 280 Norwood Avenue, Ocean, Patricia Cody, Block 106, Lot 3, 1305 Spruce Avenue, Ocean, Robert Davidson and Stephanie Russell, Block 22, Lot 61, 332 Overbrook Avenue, Ocean, Memo Investments, LLC, Block 7, Lot 51, 44 Monmouth Road, Oakhurst, Elon High School, Inc., Block 207, Lots 1 and 8, 1200 Roseld Avenue, Ocean, Seaview Corporate Park, Block 149.01, Lot 1.01, 2603 Route 66 in Ocean, Jean and Grace Ann Tallarico, Block 182, Lot 47, 21 Field Stone Lane, Ocean Zone R3. And the, the Seaview is only being carried to that meeting for purposes of scheduling a special meeting thereafter. Okay. So we don't need any notices. All righty. And we have our first case, an extension of previous approval, AEI Holdings, LLC, Block 182, Lot 88, 1400 Highway 35, Ocean 01-40. This is e AEI Holdings, is the uh, structure that was approved by the board about two, two, two years ago. Um, that's across the street from CV Orthopedics. They're going to build a new building for their uh, outpatient uh, physical therapy and their offices and extend parking over there and use adjunct to that. And it's all approved. Um, before I say, and the applicant's attorney was Richard B. Stone at the time. I am now of counsel to Stonelandia, so I would have a slight conflict if the board or, or anybody objects, and then we could put it on for the next meeting. However, this is only a permitted extension. The municipal land use law uh, gives a site plan approval a two-year window, and it also gives it additional three one-year extensions. So it's, it's five, unless the zoning ordinance has changed in some way that it would be not permitted. Has there been any changes? No, there haven't. There haven't. So it's basically a pro forma. Okay. So if you're comfortable in passing it, and there's no public you're objecting, <laughs> um, you may move it. If you're not, then we can carry it to the next meeting because I'm not going to be here and I'll have another council. Um, Mark Lexting from the planning board is covering me. Okay. Will someone offer? I'll offer. Is there a second? Oh. Any objections from the public? Seeing none. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ashkenazi offered. Yes. And I'll also. Second. Okay. Amy, please call the roll. Mr. Fuller? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Ashkenazi? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Yes. And yes. And there's a resolution that for tonight. You don't need to memorialize it. It's been it's been circulated. Okay. Okay. Our first case, Alex Widener, block two twelve, lot twenty two. <coughs> 1201 Marion Avenue, Ocean Zone R4. Applicant seeks approval to construct a covered rear patio, an uncovered rear patio, on a pre existing non conforming dwelling which does not meet the required 30 feet, 30 foot front yard setback and is over on building coverage where 27% is permitted and 34.7% is proposed. Is Alex Widener present? Okay, please come forward. You can have a seat at the table. Or, um, first, can you raise your right hand? Do you affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth? Yes. And state your name and your address. Alex Wagner, 1201 Marion Avenue, Ocean Township, New Jersey. Okay. You can have a seat, and I will ask Mr. Higgins yes, and I'm Mr. Sure I, I'll, I'll summarize okay. rather than read the whole report. Basically, it's the R4 zone. What they want to do is put a 20-foot deep by 24-foot wide canopy over a portion of a patio in the back of their yard. Um, it would be 15 feet high at its highest point. It has a somewhat peaked roof on it. Um, 
the lots a fully conforming lot in the zone it's 100 by 100 10,000 square feet so it's fully conforming so when I look at the type of variances that definitely a hardship variance would not apply because the site is fully conforming there's nothing unique about the site that would create a hardship so they would have to go under uh, the C2 variance which basically is that the benefits of the granting of the variance substantially outweigh the detriment um, the variances that are necessary, the rear yard setback is 30 feet required. The house is set at 38 feet, but with the 20 foot canopy, that would then make the rear yard setback for that 24 foot wide section of the canopy be 18 feet. Um, and then the, the building coverage, the ordinance permits 27% of the buildable lot area as for building coverage. The existing site has a coverage of 18.3%. And the proposed application would provide a building coverage of 34.7%. Um, clearly, I think there's there's a benefit in the applicant. I'm sure we'll discuss that, in that they're going to be able to use their backyard, their patio in times of inclement weather. And I'm a proponent of that type of thing. The more use you can use on the outdoor, the better. My bigger concern with this application is that when they submitted it, we didn't have a detail of what this canopy would look like. Uh, they have submitted details of the canopy and quite frankly it's an open air canopy it does have a roof rather than being flat it's just, it's slightly peaked uh, but i think it fits in with the character of the house i don't think there's any substantial visual detriment to it um, the one thing if should the board decide to approve the application i think there should be a condition that the uh, roof of the canopy that the shingles on it match the shingles of the house other than that, I don't have a significant problem with it. Okay, Mr. Matlock. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I generally don't have uh, any real concerns with this uh, application. The one thing in my report uh, was just for the applicant to discuss whether there was going to be any significant grading uh, change to the property as a result of the construction that might negatively impact the neighbors. Other than that, I, I don't have any issues. Okay. Mr. Widener, if you can tell us about your request and if you can address uh, the use and uh, Mr. Matlock's concern about any grading changes. Sure. Uh, as it stands now, there's a there's a deck. It's pr pretty dilapidated. It's rotten, unsafe at best. Um, we have two young kids. We like the outdoors. It's the reason we moved to Ocean Township to begin with. So we do want to utilize that outdoor space as much as possible, and, and the structure that we're looking to build will help us do so. Um, I have some renderings here. I don't know if you guys want to. Were they submitted to the board already? Because I think they're in our packet. Yes. yes. Okay. Could we mark the packet as Yes, Amy. <laughs> okay. Um, um, okay, please continue. We have them. As far as the grading, there's not going to be any, any significant grading. We do have a storm drain in one corner of the backyard, which everything is kind of already graded towards. In addition, we've, we've already created um, like a natural berm around the backyard, uh, planted several arborvitae trees, which I think will help you know, eliminate uh, any excess runoff uh, from the increase in, in lot coverage. Um, other than that, we're open to suggestions if there's anything else you know, further needed. Um, the roof structure will obviously have gutters as well, um, funneling towards you know, the area of the storm drain as well. Okay. Do any board members have questions? Mm -hmm. Me. You said there's a, you have a deck there now? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That was one of the questions I had in my report. Is that going to remain? Is it going to be replaced? Or it's, it's or being removed. It's being removed. Yeah. Okay. And, and a new deck put and a new deck put in or this, patio? Uh, this patio is patio. the replacement okay. of that. Deck. And it looks like your uh, uncovered patio appears to play, uh, displace a portion of the shed. Is the shed going to be moved? The shed is going to be removed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Removed. Remo removed. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. any other board members with questions? Okay, anyone from the public with questions? There's a lot of public here. <laughs> <laughs> Please, one at a time, one at a time. Okay, um, no questions. Motion to close the public hearing. I'll move. A second. Okay, Amy, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Okay. And will someone offer 
uh, regarding the C2 rear yard building coverage with a condition that the roof matches. I'll offer for a positive resolution. I'll second. Okay, Amy, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Okay, Mr. Widener, you're set. Okay, next we have Elena Ettery, Block 75, Lot 3, 605 South Edgemere Drive, Ocean, Zone R5. Applicant seeks approval to remove the existing detached garage and replace it in kind. The garage is pre existing, non conforming, in that it does not meet the required side and rear yard setbacks and is over the permitted accessory building height. And Ms. Ettery, is that okay? Sure. Yes, if you both can come up to the table, if you can uh, both raise your... Okay, if you can raise your right hand and do you affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth? Yes. And if you can individually state your name and your address. Lana Ettery, 605 South Edgemere Drive, West Allenhurst, 07711. Flyer is Hulin, 605 South Edgemere Drive, West Allen, Harrison, New Jersey. Okay. And if you can have a seat, and I will ask Mr. Higgins and Mr. Again, Matlack. I'll, I'll summarize it. As the application says, they want to replace yeah. an existing garage in kind with one that's the same size in the same location. Um, it's going to be 20 feet high. The ordinance permits 15, a maximum of 15 feet high for an accessory structure. It has a Required uh, side yard setback is 15 feet, and the side yard setback is 6 feet, and the required rear yard setback is 30 feet because it has to maintain the setbacks of the principal building. The existing setback is 1.8 feet. Um, basically, it's going to be the same structure in the same location. They're just taking down one that's substandard and putting up one that's standard. Uh, they also have an additional shed on the property that is a 12 by 23 foot shed, which is also a pre-existing non-conforming shed. The zoning officer did comment that if that shed is ever removed, it would have to be replaced in a conforming location. As far as the proposed shed, I, the proposed garage, I don't have a problem. Uh, the one question I had is whether or not, instead of being set back 1.6 feet from the rear yard, rear property line, whether it could be moved about three and a half feet to be five feet to allow a little bit more room for maintenance of the garage in the future. And I don't know whether they're planning to use the, the same footprint or this, the same uh, foundation of the existing garage or not, and that might make it a much more expensive and probably wouldn't be practical. But I don't have a big problem. And then the other issue is what that garage is going to be used for because the doors on the garage don't appear to be wide enough for a standard vehicle to get in and out. So it's just going to be storage, which is fine. But I think that just has to be put on the record what the use is going to be. Okay. Mr. Matlock? Did we, did we oh. the packet in there? We are. Amy, <laughs> let's move that packet. No, Mark believe, that packet. I believe everything that's on there is in the packet. <clears throat> These are new photos. New photos. Okay. We, why don't we mark that A1, the whole board? No, she'll do it. Well, I brought some. No, oh, everybody gets one too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one more important that they have. That's fine. Thank you. Oh, sure. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Matlack. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I generally don't have any issue with this application either. Uh, I had a similar comment to Mr. Higgins of, of uh, a little explanation of what the use of the garage is and uh, whether there would be any uh, utilities extended to the garage. Um, and other than that, I didn't have any other concerns. Okay. Uh, Ms. Ettery, if you can uh, state your request and if you can also address um, the use. So on the survey, it's stated as a garage, um, but we use it for storage. And uh, it's true, you wouldn't be able to fit a modern day car unless you had a little, you know, a little car. You do park, you know, right there and we use it, you know, basically for storage. Um, it's not built on, built on a foundation. It's just, you know, as you can see from the photos, it's just really sitting on the dirt and, uh, 
we were looking at doing some work on it and a builder said, you know, really this is unsafe. Mm -hmm. So because it was stated as a garage on the survey, I said that's just, you know, for conformity's sake, just call it a garage. It's used like a garage, except it just doesn't house a car, but mm -hmm. it would house everything else that a garage would. Does that answer your question? So is it's it primary storage. Is what's okay. number six? No, no, no. Storage. Storage. There's no residence there. No residence. Okay, no residence. And oh, I'm sorry. The utility we would want is electric. It had electric. There was a box there. There's wires there. It, you know, when I bought the property, it wasn't in use. The electric was somebody had cut the line, but prior owner said that at one time it was working, and he just. I think after Sandy just didn't rehook it all back up. So is it currently working? No. Currently not working. So okay. that would be the utility. Okay. For lights. Mm -hmm. For lights they don't. Well, yeah. Not intending to you know, to provide electric heat or you're not gonna insulate it and, and have it as a, a livable space. No, but I would like to insulate it because okay. we do we do, you know we do work back there. We want to do like in okay. Woods. We, ha we're go we garden. We have some machinery. Mm -hmm. um, leaf Woodworking blowers. Things like yeah, okay. things like that. Yeah, I don't yeah. think there's any problem That's insulating it. No, it's, it's, it's just that, that you can't put a, 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 a toilet in and, well, and a sink. Uh, <laughs> I will think you can have maybe, but yeah, yeah, what? Yeah. doesn't have water. It's not going to have water. No water. Okay. Okay. Have, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's problem. You want to insulate it? Go ahead. What about moving it? Well, the thing is, is that Originally, when we applied, um, you know, we were told that you can't just backtracking for a second. You can, you have to work within the bounds of where the structure is and replace one footing at a time. So, the whole idea of doing it, pricing it out, builder said, you know, it's so impractical. Just you know, take it down or lift it or whatever. You know, do least expensive and most efficient way and least disturbance to the neighbors would be just to remove it and then rebuild it exactly as it is. I mean, we love it. We love the way it looks. It, the reason we sent these pictures is because it looks so much, adds so much to the home. Visible from the street, it adds so much. The neighbors love it, you know. I mean, if we had to move it forward, that's not an issue. There's plenty of land, but, you know, we thought that would be more of an issue well, with the board. Yeah, my thought was that 1.6 feet is not really a lot of space to be able to maintain the back of it. It Absolutely. might make it a lot easier for you. Yeah. Well, well yeah. this board has the power to let you do that. Okay. Yeah, they can. Yeah. If you want to do that. Yeah. Well, in fact, once, in what once you take it, once you take it down, you, you technically legally have no rights to put it back in the same place. But the way the law reads is that once you take it down, it's not there anymore, and it's like you're starting at scratch. But from a practical standpoint, I mean, it looks great. It, I think it adds a lot to the property, and I, I think functionally and aesthetically, yeah. I think it's a very nice thing. Right, so uh, everybody comes to that. Yeah. Right, and, and enchanted by it. It's going to match the color, design, and roof coloring of Everything. the house. Mm -hmm. It's going to match that. If we could keep it exactly as it is and reinforce it and make it more safe, we would. But we've been told that. Yeah. It's yeah. So you're going to move it three point something, three point four feet, right? Yeah. To the which way? To the south. To south. Yeah. So it'll have a yeah. five foot rear yard setback. Okay. We can. We're allowed to do this. So <laughs> yep, they're allowed to do it. Right yep. now, it has no slant. And it's, it's actually eliminating an unsafe condition and replacing it with a, a better structure and a better location. What, what's the height of it? 20 feet. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I scaled off the architecturals to okay. make sure Did it was you, the same you, height. You want leaders and gutters or what are they doing with that? Uh, yeah, are there going to be like uh, gutters on the roof and, yeah, and there are downspouts? Now. There are now, and there will be also, okay. of course, because they're, you know. Um, I imagine they would just use the driveway and drain down the driveway. Exactly. And you can kind of see them on, they're on each corner now. They do have, it does have drainage, and, you know, it, uh, and I'll probably be putting rain barrels under them for uh, gardening. You know, to or, the or they're going to drain down the driveway anyhow, well, Correct. you know. Yeah. Um, and, to the street, unless you want to catch it, that's okay with you. But the Rain we just don't want okay money too. onto the neighbor's properties. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any board members with questions? So you get the, I have a quick question. What's the upstairs? Five foot How is it accessed? It's open. There's okay. a. Um, 
if you were to look at the plans, there's uh, right now a set of steps. When you walk into the structure, there's a set of steps. Um, they're rather steep. So because we'll be carrying stuff, storing stuff, we ask you know, in the plan that it turn. Um, it's just a very big open space. At one point, they, you can see there was a wall that was put up, but we just want to keep it all open. Okay, so the steps will allow safety okay. for yeah. Yeah. absolutely yeah. Right. yes. Okay, yeah, it's a big thing. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Any Probably. other board yeah. members with questions? Okay, anyone from the public? <laughs> okay, motion to close the public hearing. Make a motion to close the public hearing. I'll second. Okay, Amy. Yes. Let's make that first. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. And looking for permitted use, rear and side yard setback. And I'm sorry, were there conditions discussed? What the one condition is it be moved to be five feet from the rear property line. Okay. To match the house and color, yeah. Yeah. design and roof. Okay. And there'd be leaders and gutters directing mm -hmm. uh, drainage uh, down the driveway to the street. Okay, someone offer? Unless you want to catch a offer. Is there a second? You're allowed. I'll second. Amy, please call the roll. Mr. Fuller? Yes. 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 Okay. You're all time limit on how long do we have to do the project? No. No, the answer is no. Number one, in January 19th is our next meeting and there will be a resolution that they will approve and then they have to we'll send it to you and you gotta put a little blurb in the paper. Okay? Yeah, and then you can apply for you guys to <laughs> and then you can apply for your building permits after so that. I have a question. Wait a minute. So let me finish your other question. Sorry. <laughs> the answer is we do not have any restrictions on time limits for variances once granted yeah. Yeah. in uh, Ocean Township. Some towns do, some towns require one or two years. We do not have a time limitation <coughs> restriction. So if you don't build it for a year and a half, it's okay. My, my former house got a variance 30 years ago, which is, and hasn't been built, and it's still in effect. Yeah, so. <laughs> you have to renew that? No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> you have to renew a site plan. Site have you heard yes. for early yeah. night? A full yeah. site plan, which is a commercial yeah. you know, design, that's only good for two years and then three one-year extensions. Okay. But a variance for uh, residents, no, there's no, no limitation. You had another question. Yeah, so, so, okay, so just so I should understand, when I leave. Okay, so basically when we're ready to go, we could take the structure down and then build the light claim. Yeah, After your building permit. I everything. think you need a demo yeah. permit too. Yeah. 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 Need a demo? Call Amy and she'll walk you through the process. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Okay. You're thank welcome you. and best of luck. Okay, thank you. And a motion to adjourn. I'll move to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.